Well, the coronavirus, though, continues its surge across the United States, even as vaccinations recently began, as the country still remains the world's largest coronavirus hotspot, with Friday showing the first single-day caseload of more than 250,000 new infections, and the daily death toll has hovered around 3,000 people nationwide. But also in the U.S., more than 128,000 people had already been vaccinated as of Friday. I'm joined by Dr. Jeremy Rose the, from the Emergency Department at Mount Sinai Beth Israel in New York. Thanks for being with us. Firstly, I understand you've received the, your first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. How are you feeling and do you feel that others will be less reluctant now to, to vaccinate based on your example? Well, I certainly hope so. Good morning. It's very nice to be with you a little earlier in my time than your time. Uh, receiving the vaccine was actually a really great experience. It was almost completely painless. I've had uh, almost no side effects, and I really look forward to ending this, what's been a very, very long year, quite frankly. Uh, have you, is there a lot of pushback or fear of the vaccine around you? I think there's a lot of questioning. You know, I think that people have very legitimate questions about, you know, how safe is this vaccine? Is this vaccine going to work? And I'm very optimistic in what I've seen. I've seen great data. We've, uh, we've really come through this with a, a really good product, I think, uh, at our fingertips, a number of really good products. And I sincerely hope that this will bring an end to the COVID pandemic. Now, uh, being where you are here in New York City, in the, uh, what's been the epicenter of the outbreak at, at times uh, worldwide in the U.S., now facing the biggest wave yet in the United States. Uh, are you better equipped, though, now than, say, in the previous major spike of, of June, July? We've certainly learned a lot. We've learned a lot about how to treat the disease. We've learned a lot about how to prevent the disease. But at the same time, even with all of the things we've learned, uh, we are still unable to halt the spread of COVID as the numbers will attest. And so that's why the vac vaccination campaign really, really is critical. You know, we've seen a lot. We've seen a lot uh, since March. We've seen a lot of people suffering. I've seen a lot of effects from COVID, including people who have long haul effects, people who have lingering chest pain, people who've had strokes, uh, people who have really, really become debilitated by this virus. And it is so exciting now that we have a vaccine that might prevent it, but we're just not there yet. It's still really important to wear those masks. It's still really important to wash your hands. And, uh, and I would say from personal experience, I rolled up my sleeve and I would sincerely hope that you roll up yours. As you mentioned, uh, despite uh, all the all the advances made in the hospital here, and you're in the emergency department in New York City now, is there a sense of frustration uh, by you and, and your colleagues seeing the outbreak spiking based on behavior outside of the hospital now that it's out of your control? Uh, is there a sense of frustration that people could be doing more, that the authorities could be doing more? You know, I think I think it's less frustration than fatigue. And I think I don't speak for just the hospital workers, although I, I think we all feel this way. You know, it's been a very long year. You know, we can be honest and look around at each other. I know I'm feeling it. I know you're feeling it. This we, we're tired. You know, we've been working at this since March and uh, and it's really been a slog and a struggle. And that's why I think it's really, really important that we kind of keep our eyes fixed on the light at the end of the tunnel. There is a light at the end of this tunnel. If we get vaccinated, if we all do this together, um, the trick is that we all have to take that vaccine. If we if we sit back, if we let this become endemic rather than pandemic, endemic means spread throughout society, then we will be dealing with COVID for a very, very, very long time. And we do not want that under any circumstances. So I really think the vaccine is the way out. But the trick is vaccines don't save people. Vaccination saves people. So you really have to be willing to take it. I got mine a couple of days ago. As I said, my arm was a little sore. And after that, I'm, I'm feeling just fine and ready to get my second dose. Well, thanks for your time here, Dr. Jeremy Rose here for, first of all, all you do to fight the virus. And of course, the example you're setting now with the vaccine. Thank you very much. Pleasure as always. And we jump now to our correspondent, Alec Pollard, who's at Hadassah Hospital in Jerusalem here now. Also, as, again, Alec, we were...